Hi, my name is Dave. I'm a tour guide at the Titan Missile Museum down here in Sarita, Arizona. I served in the Air Force back in the mid-70s in a Titan missile silo, just like this one. Uh, we're on level five of the silo uh, equipment bay. Uh, I'm going to show you what's down on this level today. This here, this is uh, more pneumatics. This is what's going to start that generator I'm going to show you later on a different level. Uh, the generator uses air pressure to turn it over to get it started instead of like a battery or electricity. So that's what this is for. This is the diesel tank. We have enough diesel from this tank to last us two hours down here in case we lose power. Now we buy power just like everybody else does. We get it from Tucson Electric. But power goes out a lot. It's not reliable. So if our power goes out, our diesel engine will kick on. Uh, the diesel engine, however, takes 90 seconds to power up. So on level three of the uh, control center building, there's two 28 volt battery packs down there. These batteries are gonna kick on immediately uh, and it's gonna keep us running for the 90 seconds it takes for the generator to come on board. The missile has gyroscopes. It can never be without power. Even for a second, the missile will forget where it is and you'll never be able to launch it. So those battery packs are gonna keep us going. Now we can launch the missile on the batteries. We can even open the 760 ton door, silo door on the batteries. Now if this tank runs out, in the access portal, there's a switch. We can turn that switch and there's an 8,000 gallon tank of diesel fuel up topside buried just a few feet under the ground. So I talked to you about a 100,000 gallon tank of water that's going to drop under those engines when it takes off. Well, this is the tank. It starts down there on level six and it goes three stories up to level three. And this is the whole tank. There's a 100,000 gallon of water in here. From time to time, they would put divers in here uh, to make sure there were no leaks or any problems inside. All right, thank you for visiting with uh, me today. Uh, level five of the silo, uh, plenty more videos to come. So uh, keep tuned.